He is a liberty freak, liberty freak. He's liberty freaky, yeah. He's a super liberty freak. All right, Liberty Freak TV. I started watching this. I got about 10 minutes in. It got so good, I started over. I'm going to watch it with you, okay? I'm going to be pausing it a lot. Subscribe to Liberty Freak TV. The name of the video is Under Sheriff. Violently assaults woman for speaking too loud. This lady reminds me of the female version of me. You cut my wiener off, you got this lady right here. So here we go. Hey, everybody. Here we are again. That's Eric Brandt there on the left. Uh, I just actually got to speak with him on the phone. We had a good conversation, about an hour and ten minutes. I will be publishing that soon once I do all the necessary bedoodlings. In Morgan County. So I came over to see what was going on today, and lo and behold, he's here. And, uh, yeah, there he is. So, they're still doing this, this cell phone ban thing here, so I can't... I can't. This is something new courts are doing because they can't stand the idea of transparency. <clears throat> and they've been basically working in the dark in these buildings. Yeah, the buildings have cameras, but no, nobody goes in there and gets the footage and actually sees and hears what's going on in these courtrooms. People don't do that. But if you post it on YouTube, people are going to start listening and they're going to see what goes on in these disgusting courtrooms and courthouses and the way they treat people and imprison people falsely and, and uh, steal people's money for victimless crimes. It's disturbing. And this is why they don't want cell phones in there. It's When you turn on the lights, cockroaches scatter. With my cell phone, so I have to stand on this side of security. And uh, Eric, though, apparently got himself an order here from the judge. Oh, look at this! Look at this. Judges, ultimate sovereign citizens. Yeah, we have uh, her judge. She Prosecutors are right up there too. Oh, this defendant is allowed to bring his computer. He's got this cop's rolling his eyes like, hey man, I just want to stay in here all day, all right? I don't need all this. <laughs> this is what should be going on in courthouses. You want this system disrupted? Disrupt it! Do everything you're lawfully allowed to do. Push back. Disrupt. Call. Uh, write letters. Write emails. Call the telephone is your one of the best uh, tools you can use to disrupt the government corruption. I sure, I sure right there's got to blow your mind, huh? Real law, huh? Huh? This but is, you guys so will why fold can't like I have my cell phone? Why can't I have my cell phone? That's a good question. This is a copy of what they call the order. And it's a public record. Because you're not bringing it in because the judge said. And the judge is the ultimate sovereign citizen. We work for him and her. We work for judges. We don't work for the people. I know we swore an oath and all that stuff. But once a judge says something, our oath to the Constitution becomes toilet paper, you see? Because you're said. not upholding your oath. And then he doubles down with, with the because the judge said. In other words, I've heard of it, but hell with your Constitution. My judge master is greater than anyone's. Any rights you have. Yes, exactly. So it's, 
So what you're saying is you're just following orders? Following the court is orders. That's right. That didn't fit. Just following orders. Just doing their jobs. They're just doing their jobs. They're just following orders. This is what... Hey, whoever you are. How are you? You're doing a presentation, huh? Just following orders. That's what the Nazis used as a defense. We were just following Hitler's orders. And the, the court's like, uh, no. That doesn't fly. That argument doesn't fly. Too well for the Nuremberg trial at all. Okay. Oh, there we go. Mr. Sheriff Martin. Oh, there he is. That's a guy. Yeah, there he is. That's a guy that doesn't have a card to give me. He's, He's going to be the next sheriff. You know he, that, he, right? said, he said he didn't have a card. And then he tried to politely well, he, he, he tried to politely escort me out to the front door, but then I told him I wasn't done. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, you know, he's going to be the next sheriff. Mm -hmm. So he could, he could, mm -hmm. he could uphold his oath. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, right. You can't be sheriff nowadays and uphold your oath. And this bullshit with the cell phone ban because it's a protected First Amendment right to have your telephone, even though you end up being recorded anyway, and that's what you fear the most, right? That's why you can't have cell phones in here, right? I'm not going to debate it. I'm not going to debate it with you because there's no debate. Because we said so, you understand? Why not? Why not? I'm not here to debate. Well, you are because you're the So first it was by order of the judge, now it's the sheriff. And the order is redacted so that you really, oh, they redacted who actually made the order. Oh, sneaky, sneaky steins. I don't know. You don't know? I'll make that decision when the time comes. You, you don't know? I'll make the decision when the time comes. When the time comes. Oh, well, like you're not going to be the next sheriff? Is that, is that where you're going with that? No. No, because you are. Because you're running unopposed, correct? Oh, yeah. So you're... That's disturbing, too, that someone's running unopposed. How's that possible? Someone put your damn name up there. Get some signatures. Oh, uh, I shouldn't say that because someone's going to tell me to practice what I preach. The decision is yours to make. It will be. Yeah, and so are you in the business of upholding your, your oath or I, not? I will uphold my oath. If you will uphold your oath, Hold on a second. If you're going to uphold your oath and, and then sneak a treatment for everyone across in the law, sir, I need you to do something about this gentleman right now. He's actually recording me with that device on his chest. Yeah. Okay? So what you're saying is that badges grant extra rights? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Then why can he have his recording device and any other device that he deems he needs? But we <laughs> What is Eric doing in the background? That's so funny. And he's bright, safety yellow clothing. Dude, you're my hero. We can't, whether it be to defend ourselves or whether it be to record matters of public interest as the press. I'm not going to debate it with you. Oh, that's not I ain't going to debate it with you because I'll lose all my hair thinking that hard. Oh, wait. Not a debate. That's a simple question. Well, I'm not going to answer your question. Oh, okay. You don't answer questions as an elected official mm. or a public employee as an undersheriff. You don't answer questions. I didn't say that. That's a simple question. Well, I'm not going to answer you. We're not here for That's a simple question. Well, I'm not going to answer you. We're not here for yeah, But I'm not going to answer No, no, no. He just said that. He, what, he, what he's actually saying is he just doesn't answer our our questions. It depends if he likes because the message. He thinks it's a joke. He thinks upholding his oath is a joke. Right? Kim, 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 smile. Mm -hmm. This guy right here. Boy, technology's gonna sink all of you. Technology's gonna kill you guys, man, with live streaming and everything. Every sin, there will be no sin hidden that will not be revealed with you guys. And all this smugness changes so much when you're sitting in the defense stand, right? And you know, when you're sitting there giving your excuses, right? And your authority means nothing when you have to bow under the authority of the Constitution. And then that's where we get our pleasure, you know, to watch your tyranny end. He's a liberty freak, liberty freak. He's liberty freaky, yeah. Do you have a cell phone? Do you have a cell phone? And you know what the other beauty of, yeah, of, of all this technology phone? is? Forever, as long phone? as time now remains. Do you have a cell 
When someone looks up your name, they will know your tyranny. You they will see your you shame and your dishonor. So you're disrupting the court. Can you kind of lower your Why voice? do you have yourself up? I'm sorry, is there a court here? Ms. Benson. Is there a court Why here? Why do you have yourself up? Ms. Benson. You're what? Just, you're, you're yelling at me. Stay back. That's fine. You're, you don't need to come. Yeah, he came real close to me, too. Step off. Look how he comes close to this lady. Watch. Look. 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 The passive aggressive uh, intimidation. Here's the other passive aggressive intimidation. You don't know? We have uh, Wally Walrus over here uh, standing. <laughs> my left. Because the rules don't apply to you, do they? Do they? They do. Do you have your cell phone? I'm here on duty. I'm an official capacity. And I'm here as the press to see how it is that you treat the citizens of your county, whether it is your made up laws or whether it is actual, real law and protection of the people that you are sworn to serve. You guys mm -hmm. realize that um, if you feel like you're being, you got a court right here that's going to hear your, your side. Oh, don't you worry about it. I got it right here. A court right here. Yeah, because the courts are not biased at all. In America, oh my God! If you want the people we're protected right now, can tell you what's going to happen to you. Little conflict of interest there. Here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, that's that's a fact. Okay. Then get your attorneys and file your stuff or do it yourself. Why? Why do we have to do that? Because you can't yes. your oath. Because we have been instructed that this is not going to happen. And We've been instructed to violate your rights. Don't you understand that? What don't you understand? You're just following orders and not upholding your oath. Why? Why do you have to cost us time and money to go stand in front of a judge because you don't want to do your damn job? When you guys are actually the ones that are supposed to say, sorry, judge, just that's not how it works. And violating yep. your oath. Yep, and you call that that's, just doing that your is job? absolutely your opinion here. Opinion? Yeah. Here you we have uh, Miss uh, Regan. She is right now. Um, For a redress of grievances, she is looking for a redress of grievances. This lady was actually dragged out. On what charges? I will, I will charge you with obstruction. You are not coming into this courthouse. Obstruction. Any than you are now. Obstruction. Yes. What is she obstructing? What is she actually obstructing? Don't touch me. I'm not. But Do you not you go touch outside, me. You're, ob you're obstructing the flow of this office. How so? People in here doing business and you are screaming and crying. Leave. And I won't have to scream at you anymore. She might be hard of hearing. She might be hard of hearing. That's the way she normally speaks. Are you a judge on, on, uh, on audible uh, tones and uh, volume decibels? And... Okay. Because this is where I work. Well, this is where I work, too. No, you don't. Oh, well, yeah. you're wrong. This is where I'm working right now. I'm actually performing my job. Okay. The freedom of the press. The, uh, one of the very few, if only, that was actually mentioned in the Constitution. Isn't that pretty neat? You're Can you believe I haven't interrupted this whole time? I'm, like, loving this. Job Isn't wasn't mentioned in the Constitution. Obstruction. Actually, the entire Constitution. Obstruction, obstruction of what? I said walking through here after you've been told not to. Oh, if I walk through. If I walk, he changed his story. If I walk through, then he's going to charge me with obstruction. I used to laugh the whole time. You see, they love to use the semantics of law against us. But when we use the semantics of law against them, they get a little irate. them from the left side. This is the next sheriff. This is the next sheriff. Or not, after they see this video. Somebody run for sheriff against this guy. Anybody, please. <laughs> What's wrong, guy? Huh? It's not tyranny as usual today, huh? Giving them a, a basic rundown. There's Eric standing right there. Um, he's breaking it down for them. Um, all these people get so smug until it's time to show up in court. And then their smugness all goes away. Speaking of showing up in court, you guys got to watch Eric Brandt's jaywalking trial. 
Dude, he takes a dump on this judge's head, and it's the best thing. It's one of the best trials. Eric. Eric! Why does Eric have his cell phone? This doesn't say cell phone on it. Where is it? You see, and, and they give... Why don't you have it? They also give freedom of the press to those who they feel... You don't have the, whoever they want. This to lie? They grant it or deny it at will. So I can bring my computer in here now? Yeah. Why not? What? Why can she not and why can he? Why is there a difference in law? Because he got an order from the judge allowing him to do so. Even though, listen, mm -hmm. even though this is an order of the sheriff, these guys can't figure out whose job it is to provide courthouse security. Correct. It is only the authority of the sheriff to provide security in the courthouse. This is all the sheriff. And Aren't he's you a coward. And he's hiding. And he's sending you instead of him coming out here and explaining his bullshit. Mr. Benson, nobody sent me down here, and the sheriff is not hiding. Then go get it. He's not here. Go get it. He's not here. Why isn't he here? It's Monday. Why the hell isn't he at work? He was at work. He left. Really? What time did he come to work? I don't know that. You don't know, but you know he's gone. I do know. Then call him up and he's get him out here. Oh, now he's in the I'm sure they're documenting everything, they're recording everything, they're videotaping everything. How many stories are you going to tell for the coward? What? Oh my goodness. Pause. Stupid internet. Oh, sure. one of those orders are lawful. So, yeah, you see how they avoid those questions? questions? You see, you see, you see. They don't, they don't. They yeah, don't of course, them. whenever, whenever you ask them. Then go away. Why are you there? A real question, right? Like which one of those is lawful? Then they don't want to debate. They don't want to argue. They don't want to, uh, you know, keep going back and forth with you, as they say. These are all little things that they use, but oh, they'll come up. Deflection tactics, that's what those are. With these crazy runaround semantics, you know, to be able to hem you up uh, for whatever reason that they want. But, uh, you know, nothing really applies like real law or, or your rights or any other. Rights are always silliness to these guys today. It is so crazy. It is like if you speak about rights, you are not an American defending your rights. You are some kind of strange strange uh, constitutionalist or sovereign citizen or some kind that's what i am a constitutionalist and most police departments consider constitutionalists think about this they swore an oath to the constitution so you would think constitutionalists would be their best friends but instead they consider constitutionalists people who believe in the document police swore to uphold are sovereign citizens i think i've even heard mike the sovereign cop say this of a nuisance or you know some type of a you know person obstructing justice what a joke obstructing justice Look who's obstructing the first amendment right now really that's exactly what it is just it's us power. just like richard Pryor said you like the power right is it the power is that why you do this job for power over people i thought you guys signed up to help Here, let me tell them something that's not funny. I'm going to tell you have, guys... Do you have a, a legitimate answer without a fucking shitty-ass smirk on your face? I hope you do for cussing. <laughs> I don't. And I'm not here to fight you. Then leave. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to get these people out of here. Oh, yes, yes. Move out of the way. Yeah, get out of... Wow. Excuse me. Excuse me. I want to get these people out of here. 
Oh, yes, yes. Move out of the way. Yeah, get out of the way. See that? Total assault. Total what assault. What did you just do? What the fuck did you just do? Wow. What a fucking scumbag. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I haven't even seen this. Oh. Dude, you're an animal, bro. Fucking piece of shit. You just fucking He couldn't wait to get his hands on it. I want your card. I want your card. Okay, well, I need your identification. Sure. Come on through. I want your card. Okay, well, I need your identification. Sure. Come on through. I've got it all high def. I've got it on 4K. Come on through. Come on through, man. You're in a public place, man. Come on. You have a cell phone, too? You're in a public place. She hasn't identified herself. She's That's a cop. She's, I know. She's an investigator. Did, she, did you just get shot? He just, he just pushed her right through the door like a man. Pushes like a man. You committed an act of violence against that woman? Yes, he's been dying, too. He's been getting all close. Yeah, Sheriff Dave Martin. Defendant in a federal civil rights lawsuit action. Detective, I need, you to, I need you to identify yourself. I need your name and badge number, detective. Detective, I will find it through a public records request. Are you going to put your hands on her again? I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you people. You're fucking badass. Yeah, you are done. You just shoved a woman through a fucking door. You're fucking badass, aren't you? You're a fucking pig, fucking piece of hey, shit. Hey, you fucking manatee, what do you have to you're be here for? You're fucking pig. You're, hey, you're, you're, you're fucking pig. I'm not obstructing. Can you fucking stand? nothing to do with this he has nothing to hey, you see how all these other brave men have defended this lady even the other lady comes out and doesn't do anything so this is that's it when they can't deal with the irate minority which is us there's just a few of us and uh eric brand is the irate extra 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 minority last mohican last uh samurai uh the last dragon of all of all patriots this disgusting undersheriff just threw assaulted a lady. And you see anyone defending her except the cameraman? This asshole's standing there watching it! That's right. Alright. Okay, so uh blow me over here with the shit by herself. I can't believe you we'll can't find out she is. I and he did, as you hear. He did. And then we got this fucking manatee over here trying to back him up. <laughs> this fucking manatee. This is great. How embarrassing, man, the way that you look. I've seen security guards. These are fucking things. women beaters. Every one of these fucking... This Damn right you're women. If you sit around and watch a woman get beaten like that by the undersheriff, look, and he just laughs. This is what they do. When they beat you, when they bloody you, when they lie in their reports... It's all about the, the thin blue waffle line. Blue waffles. That's what they are from now on. Andre, you hear me, Andre? You're looking at blue waffles right here. All you guys are nothing but blue waffles. Hey, this, hey, this asshole right here. Like, he, he, he got up close to me. Thought he He's like shaking his head. Dude, you just threw a lady through double doors onto the ground. Are you joking right now? Any real man would have punched you in your stupid face. Oh my God! You didn't intimidate me. That's you didn't, didn't intimidate me at all. So you, so you push a woman. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Thank you. He says he feels he needs to be appreciated for beating on a woman, and he's proud about it. Look at his smug face and his smile. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. You know why? Because for the rest of eternity, when they look up your name, your shame and dishonor is gonna befall all of you and your fucking family. Okay. And they're going to see how shameful and dishonorable... That's right, you fucking scum. Whatever your name is, anytime it's plugged into a Google, they're going to see you throwing a woman down to the ground through some double doors because you're nothing but a coward bitch. Their father, grandfather, brother, uncle, whatever you are, to whoever you are, okay, forever. Say hello to technology. Say hello to the internet. You too, you fat scumbag. Okay, I normally don't cuss at you guys, 
But what you got? What does that mean? What's that? What happens if I don't go? Why? Why am I getting thrown out? 189111, subsection 3, interfering in a courthouse facility. It's time to go. Okay. It's time to go. I am leaving. I am leaving. It's time to go. And what happens if I don't? You will go to jail. I will go to jail. Can you identify yourself? Okay. You'll be identified. You know who you're going to be identified by? The internet. These guys are trying to get in. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, guys. Go back to the front. Go back to the front. It's time to go. It's time to leave the pigs to their fucking pig business. So are you, Mr. How's that pronounced? Fucking piece of Shasta, shit. I pronounce it shit so. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Shasta, are you? But if he didn't have that uniform on, I would whoop your fucking ass with fucking with, with one hand tied behind my back. You fat, old, out of shape piece. That's right. That's the only thing protecting your coward punk asses. Cause you, if you didn't have that badge and gun and the backing and the monopoly on violence, you would never act this way. Cause all your fucking teeth would be missing. You scumbag piece of shit. How, how is he not being arrested for assault right now? Holy fuck. Dude, I hope you sue the living fuck out of this guy. Shit. That's why you push a woman, because you, you can't beat on men. Let's see here. That's true. Yeah, blue waffle privilege. How terrible. How about more recording than that fuck now? Thank you. Yeah. Don't oh, fuck yourself, pig. You How dare you? Oh, we're you interfering with you locking the door? Locking no justice! No peace! Fuck this stupid ass! I'm laughing at you fuckers because I think it's funny! Dumbass police! Oh, he won't be laughing. He won't be laughing later. Yo, hey, look at that disgusting woman beater and the woman behind him backing him up. Lady's like pushing 50 and she thinks she's hot. Yes. I would call. I would call. Dude, she should have stayed right there in the foyer, not got up, and say, I can't get up, I need an ambulance. Cause then they're gonna say in court, you're alright to get up and move around and everything. Oh what a sick fuck that guy is. I would call right now. How did he why, how and why did he, he totally pushed her with both hands? Right out the door, like a fucking. I mean, yes, like, like, like a fucking. I mean, like if he was a bouncer at a club. So all I heard was a bang, and saw you on the floor because I was getting my records. Shoved me so fucking hard, my feet came off the ground, and I landed on my back. Yeah, he pushed her with with. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call 911. I would. I would. I watched it. I, I witnessed it. That was terrible, and that was hard. Yo, that, yo, he pushed her out like a drunk man. Shut the he pushed her out like a drunk man. It, it's all they uh, were doing was locking the doors when it's not even time to... Out of a club. And I want to know how specifically we were interfering with government operations. How were we interfering with courthouse operations when now their only operation was to take the public, recording them in the performance of misconduct, out the door? Oh, God, yeah. This all happened because of decibel levels. Period. From the, from the entryway? This all happened because he felt that she was talking too loud for him. He didn't like her voice anymore. <sighs> There's your scumbag right there. Uh, what can I say, man? There's your heroes. They're protecting people. So because these guys are uh, resisting their first... These guys are violating their oath to the constitution they get mad and assault the lady all that sheriff had to do was leave the foyer or whatever you call that and it would have de-escalated he will he wanted to do that and he couldn't contain himself and he knew he was being recorded and he did it anyway so this guy's gonna be an unopposed sheriff all right guys subscribe to eric brandt Sub subscribe to Liberty Freak TV and whoever this lady is if you have a channel feel free to message me 
We can do an interview about what happened to you here, and holy crap. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Join if you want to join. Hit the thumbs up. Click the bell. Go to Etsy and type in John's Coin Rings. Peace and tranquility. Bye.